Hey guys, and this is Doughboy Studios, and this, and I'm bringing you guys another ESO video. And today, what I'm going to be talking about is how to get gold fast, because I know that there are a lot of new players, beginning players, um, struggling players, who just want to earn gold fast so they can get the gear that they want, or whatever, you know, whatever, you know, use the gold for it. But anyway, I'm going to be telling you guys a couple ways, the really good um simple ways that you can get um gold fast now there is one of these ways will require you to have a high rank in your guild so that's one thing i do want to uh, put out there but without further ado um that's pretty much it so anyway i'm gonna be talking about how to get gold fast now there are a couple ways you can earn gold fast such as collecting carpus um essence soul anything that's worth like seven gold um save that up because once it builds up and you have like 52 carpus or 200 carpus that could that could give you around a thousand gold i believe or more if i'm correct so you just have to save up on those type of things and uh another thing you can um do is do quests S specifically side quests because there are a lot of side quests that people just pass by um which uh there are a lot of side quests that people just pass by and uh they don't take the time to just do them because they don't realize how much gold they they give or you know items that they give off not items but you guys know what i mean you know there are a lot of side quests that people just pass by because um, they could give you a good, it could give you a good amount of gold. You know what I'm saying? And guys, I know that you know this already, but quests is a really good way to earn gold fast. So you, if you keep doing side quests, quest this quest, that quest, you know, just collect a bunch of quests and do them. That gold can build up fast and. Uh, Sorry about the the background noise, um, but anyway, yeah, it that gold builds up. So what what you want to do is just do those quests, um, get them out of the way, and you should be good to go. Now another way you can earn gold fast is uh, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the uh, video is um the guild bank, not guild. Yeah, I think it's called. The guild bank, yeah, the guild bank. Um, sorry about that, guys. I, I I was trying to collect my thoughts. Um, the guild bank is a really good way to get gold too. But um, the reason I'm saying the gold bank is because what you want to do is if you if there's a certain amount of gold, like if you need like twenty thousand gold to collect this sword from the um guild store, or whatever, from this person, or whatever, or buy off a, a person, or whatever. He has this really cool dagger that he's selling for 20,000 gold or whatever. And has these, all these, it's epic and everything. You know, it's, you know, there's a type of certain thing that you want to buy that's 20,000 gold. Or there's a certain dagger or a weapon or apparel. Or anything like that that you want to buy. Um, and you need a specific amount of gold. Um, what you would do is if you're a high enough rank, you can access the guild bank. You know, if you're a high enough rank in your guild, um, you can have access to your um, guild bank store or whatever. So, that's what you want to do, you know. Um, once you reach that high enough rank in your guild, um, you'll want to head over to a bank and it will pop up. It will pop up. So, once you head over to the bank, go to the guy, um, talk to the guy, and what you It'll say guild bank somewhere um, in the dialogue or whatever. Um, what you want to do is click on that when you talk to the guy. And uh, once you hit that, it'll either be locked because you're not high enough rank in the guild or it'll let you go in. Either way, it'll let you know when you press X or something like that. When you press X or something, you know. Um, but anyway, once you're in there, 
what I would highly recommend you do so you don't get kicked out of your guild is ask your guild leader first. Let them know, you know what I'm saying? Rather than just taking the gold that you need out, you know, saying without permission. Ask the guild leader, hey, you know, message them saying, hey, I need 20,000 gold or I need 10,000 gold or I just, I, whatever amount of gold that you need before you just take it out. Um, now, just to let you guys know, I don't know how that works because, to be honest, I don't pay attention to the guilds. I mean, I am in one, but I'm just in one for uh, to do dungeons and stuff. So I don't know how all that works. Um, if you guys know how that all that works, you can tell everybody else in the comments. But I'm assuming that's how it works. Um, you would ask the guild leader if you could take out a certain amount of gold, um, and when you can, you would however much gold you take out like 5,000 gold or something like that you would put 5,000 gold back in there so yeah I'm assuming that's how it works but if I'm wrong if I'm dead wrong on how that works um you guys can let everybody else know in the comments how all that works but without further ado um I think that's about all the ways you can earn gold oh wait no I can't believe I forgot this way Dungeons. Dungeons are a really good way to earn a lot of gold. And the reason I list dungeons is because if the, um, it depends on which dungeon you, uh, go to. If you're going to a champion dungeon, uh, the type of items that you get off of the, uh, bodies, um, or epic equipment or anything like that, you can sell that for like 52 gold. Easy. You know what I'm saying? And that builds up. You can gather a lot of stuff from dungeons. Or if you're a veteran, it really doesn't matter which dungeon you actually go to, whether it's veteran level or if you're a champion level. Both the dungeons give the same... I mean, I can't... I don't really know. I believe that the champion dungeon does give a better equipment. Like, it depends on which dungeon you go to, to be completely honest. To be frank with you... Um, um, the dungeons, honestly, you know, give, each dungeon gives you a lot of stuff, so you just have to keep that stuff and sell it. But, it just depends on which dungeon you go to, all the dungeons really give you a lot of stuff, so. I'm not gonna say, like, which one's, this one's better, or that one's better, because each one has a certain, uh, how would I say it? Each one has a certain thing that you has a certain quest inside of it that you can do if you haven't done it already. Um, that can give you a lot of gold. So, yeah. Without further ado, though, dungeons are a really good way to get a lot of gold too. So, yeah, I would highly recommend that you guys try the ways that I told you guys about. Um, collecting materials such as carpets or anything like that. Um, iron ore. Well, you guys probably use iron ore to, for the blacksmith. But if you wanted to, save up a lot of iron ore. Deconstruct the weapons that you don't want to get iron ore. Because iron ore sells for a lot. Like, I'm talking a lot. Like, I saved up a thousand iron ore. Um, I didn't really have any use for it because at the time already already had the gear that I, ha I didn't really you know I didn't have any gear that I needed to craft in the blacksmith or whatever so I sold it and I got like 20,000 I, I believe I had um I believe I had like 2,000 iron ore that I was saving up from doing um all from quests or whatever scouring the world and stuff anyway though um I got like 20,000 off that. No, not 20,000. Not 20,000. Um, you know, to be completely honest, I kind of forgot, but I believe it was like 5,000, 10,000. It was a lot of gold. You know, it was a lot of gold. Either way, though, if you want to, you can sell iron ore, which could sell for a lot. So that's what I recommend you guys do. But without further ado, guys, if you try the ways that I told you guys in this video, um, these are some really good effective ways to earn gold fast and if you guys any of you guys out there know of some ways to earn 
gold uh, fast and easy. Um, let everybody else know in the comments. And this is for ESO um, Tamriel Unlimited for the PS4. Um, but without further ado, this is Delboy Studios, and I will see you guys in the next video.